Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Good care of them, will you, Moss? I've had a hard ride. Oh, I sure will, Marshal. I'll run them down real good. Yeah, thanks, Moss. Come on, boy. Mr. Dillon, it sure is a shame to have to ride them horses so hard in this kind of weather. In any kind of weather, Chester. Yes, sir, that's so. But that stagecoach sure did move along, didn't it? Yeah. Now, the next time they ask us to ride guard, though, they're going to have to supply their own horses. Well, they should do that all right. Look at that, Mr. Dillon. Them fellows are picking on that poor old man. Yeah, come on. Come on now, man. You can jump higher, man. Please, please, Mr. Dillon, don't shoot. Jump higher, I said. He done it, Dave. He went higher. Just just let me go along, please. Higher. You got him going like a grasshopper, Dave. Shoot again. Hold on there. Put away that gun. Marshal, Dave. It ain't none of his affair. Come on, old man. When I shoot, you jump. You put that gun down or I'll take it. Don't you try it, Marshal. I warned you. <laughs> Give it to me. Oh, no. ah. You made it go off, grabbing it like that. What you doing? Look. Bird. The bird's been hit. You made me shoot my own brother. Guns aren't meant for games. You say to him, Chester. I, I certainly am beholden to you, Marshal. I certainly am. Are you hurt? No, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. You better go on, then. You better find a place to sleep it on, huh? Yeah, yeah sure, Marshal. I'm beholden to you. How is he, Chester? Oh, I don't think he's hurt bad, Mr. Dillon. That bullet just winged him some. It's bad, Marshal. Nobody shoots my brother for free. Uh, what's your name? Jabe Leach. That shot's gonna cost you, Marshal. You shot him yourself. It was an accident. The gun went off when you grabbed for it. You're the one done it. It's gonna cost you good. It ain't all that bad, Jabe. Ain't nothing to get right Shut up, up Bert. I... Well, it wasn't meant to I me. do the talk. That's been enough talking. You better get your brother up to Doc Adams' office. Now, do you want a hand? I'll get him there, Marshal. We don't need no help from you. All right, get moving, then. The next time I see you tormenting anybody around here, I'm going to throw you in jail. He was a common drunk, Marshal. He didn't deserve no better. Look, either you get up to Doc's office or you get out of town. We're going. But we ain't forgetting. I am to make you pay. You know where to find me, Leach. Just don't give me an excuse to find you. Oh, hello, Doc. Hello, Matt. Uh, Matt, you've got a minute? Uh, sure, Doc. Uh, is this a professional call? Well, I don't know, Matt. It's about those Leech brothers. Ah, then they did get you to look at that arm, huh? 
Is it in bad shape? No, it's not serious. The bullet broke a bone in the boy's wrist. He won't be drawing his gun for a while. Yeah. Well, I wish you could say the same for his brother. Well, that's what concerns me, ma'am. Oh, what do you mean? Well, there was something about the way Jay Bleach reacted to the whole thing. I wouldn't worry, Doc. He's more the type to pick on old men than to try to get even with me. I don't know that. I've known them for some time. They're dirt farmers south of town. It's a peculiar situation. Jabe is much older than Purge, you know. Yeah, I know. And ever since their pa died a few years ago, he's been running Purge's life. And he sure doesn't let the boy talk much, does he? I don't believe he even lets him think. And there's something, well, it's like something out of the Old Testament. The way he has an eye-for-an-eye attitude about this. Or a wrist for a wrist. Yeah, I'm not joking about it, Matt. There's something wrong with this man. I'd be careful if I were you. I'll be careful, Doug. Well. <clears throat> Tell you what. Come on, I'll buy you dinner. Will you please put down them glasses and listen to me? It says right here, pay the bearer on demand. The war is over, Chester. That bill ain't worth nothing. That's just it. You, you can see it right here. Now, look. Look, it says here to pay six months after the war is over. Well, it's been six months and a deal more. I don't care. You can't pass that money in here. Well, of course I can if you won't take it, but it says right here... Chester, it... you're talking foolish. I, I'm reading right straight off the bill, Sam, right off... Oh, Miss Kitty. Oh, Chester. You, uh, you boys having an argument? Uh, he's trying to get me to take a Confederate bill. Chester, I'm surprised at you. Trying to pass worthless money. Now, I know, Miss Kitty, but I figure if we just started using it again, we could make it worth something. Well, what happened? Did you find a trunk full of it? Well, no, well, not exactly. I... Well, how did you get it, Just? Well, Miss Kitty, you recollect that drummer that come through here a couple of days ago? One selling that double-strength liver cure? Mm. I must have missed him. Well, I bought the bills off of him. You bought Confederate money? Well, yes. This fellow said it was a certain thing. It would be worth something again if we could just get it back in circulation. And uh, that's what you were just trying to do? Well, yes, ma'am, Miss Kitty, I was. Chester, I swear, I don't know Your how... Your name Chester? Hmm? Uh, Chester Proudfoot, yes. You a friend of the marshal? Well, sure I am. Oh. Well, he wants to see you. Mr. Dillon wants to see me? Yeah, he sent me. He had to ride out to Crow Corners, wants you to meet him there. Well, sure. I'll get right on out. I guess something come up real sudden like. Yeah. Well, goodbye, Miss Kitty. I'll see you some other time. Yeah, sure. Uh, Chester. Uh, yes, Miss Kitty. Don't let Matt sell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> now, Miss Kitty. lot of damage if I work this out right. Just so you work it out before midnight, huh, Doc? Mm -hmm. You know, Chester seems to be taking his time, too. He's usually dead to the world this time of night. Mm -hmm. Let me see now. There. What? Well, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> that fast enough for you, Matt? <laughs> it's a little too fast, Doc. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, so what were you saying about Chester? 
Now, just that he's not in yet. He went down to the Long Branch for a beer early this afternoon. I haven't seen him since. Oh, they must have found some willing listeners to his story. Yeah. Well, he'll have some new ones when he gets back, anyway. You can be sure of that. What's that? I don't know. It was something out back. Maybe it's Chester. I'll go see. That's you, Chester? Who's there? All right, speak up, mister. Don't shoot, mister. Chester? Chester? Where are you? Tell me it was you, Chester. Why didn't you speak up? Her he was holding a hand over my face. Ellie Shaw. Yeah, don't talk to him now, Matt. Help me get him inside. Who did it, Chester? Who was it? Jabe. Jabe Leach? All right, I'll get him. Now, Matt, Matt, wait, wait a minute. What? I need you here. We have to get Chester inside where there's light. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sure, Doc, sure. It's going off half cocked, I guess. I don't blame you. Oh, Mr. Don, I... Sure am sorry to make you all this trouble. Now don't you worry, Chester. Doc will fix you up. Oh, I ain't worried, Mr. Dunlap. I know you'll take care of me. Yeah. Now, you're not the only one I'll take care of. All right, Doc. Let's let's get him inside. Huh? Uh, I can't... Uh, came as soon as I could. Uh, sorry to get you up so early, Kitty. It doesn't matter. How's Chester? The doc thinks he'll be all right, but uh, he needs somebody to watch him. Well, I'm glad to do it, Matt. You know that. Yeah, thanks, Kitty. However did this thing happen? Oh, that crazy Jabe was trying to get even with me. With you? Yeah, for making him shoot his brother that time I grabbed his gun. So he fixed it so you'd shoot Chester? Yeah. Kidnapped him, brought him around the back. Fired a shot at me over Chester's shoulder, and then he rode off. Like a fool, I fired back. And I hit Chester just like he figured I would. Don't blame yourself, Matt. It's not your fault. And I won't forget that I fired the gun. And Jay Bleach won't forget it either. You're going out to the Leach place? Yeah, right now. Matt. Yeah, Kitty? Well, nothing. I'm, I'm scared, but I can't ask you not to go. I... I guess I'd be doing the same thing. Yeah, Kitty, I think you would. to see him. He ain't in here. Come here. Marshal, I told you... I said come here. I ain't even got a gun, Marshal. I still got me in my busted wrist. I want to know where your brother is. All right, speak up, Perder. I'll break your other wrist. Is he hiding out? Jabe don't hide from nobody, Marshal. 
He ain't afraid of nothing that lives. And where is he? He's out to the barn. You better be telling the truth. He ain't gonna run, Marshal. Jed don't need to run. Leach. Jade Leach. I want to see it. Oh, Marshal. Well, now, I sure am surprised you'd ride all the way out here. You know why I'm here. Now, you wouldn't come all this way just to talk about somebody getting shot accidental like that. I'm not going to do much talking. Why, you wouldn't shoot an unarmed man now, would you, Marshal? I'm leaving my gun on my saddle. You stay right there. I ain't never run yet. You know you ain't got no case, Marshal. It'll do. Guns ain't for games. And your own words. When they go off, they can hurt anybody. I know how you feel, Marshal. You don't know how any decent man feels, Leach. What I did was an accident, and you know it. What you did was some different. You let go of me, Marshal. Sure. <laughs> You licked him. You whipped Jane. Yeah. I licked him. I ain't never seen nobody whip Jane before. That was about time. You've been standing there with that carbine all this time? Yeah, Marshal. And I'm a real good shot, left handed. Don't you get any ideas? Oh, no, Marshal. I could have shot you any time. Shoot him. Shoot him, Bert. I ain't going to, Jabe. Now, you do what I say. Nope. I don't reckon I will. What are you talking about? I ain't never seen you lick, Jabe. I didn't ever think you could be licked. I can still whip you. Not anymore, you can't. And you know something else? I ain't gonna stay here anymore, Jade. I don't have to now. You ain't going nowhere. You can't go nowhere. Yes, he can, Leach. I'm gonna see to it that he can. Can I ride in with you, Marshal? Yeah. Yeah, sure, Bert. Um, Marshal. Yeah. I guess it ain't right to go around hounding folks and hurting them when they can't fight back, is it? Well, that's something to learn, Bert. You'll have a chance to learn a lot more. All right, come on. Directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Marion Clark, with editorial supervision by John Meston. Join us again next week for another story on Gunsmoke. Get the complete news first on the CBS Radio Network.